Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast with Kevin Harrington and Seth Green. Kevin Harrington is the inventor of the infomercial, one of the original sharks from the hit TV show Shark Tank, and has generated over $5 billion in TV and digital direct response sales. Seth Green is the world's first trusted authority on cutting edge direct response marketing, a best-selling author, and the only three-time Marketer of the Year nominee. On the podcast, Kevin and Seth interview sharkpreneurs who share straight talk on what it takes to explode your business. Why do so many businesses struggle while others seem to explode overnight? Do you wish you had the secret to this type of exponential growth? Now, I've scaled more than 20 businesses to over $100 million, and it's not just luck. In my new book with Mark Tim, Mentor to Millions, you'll learn the repeatable framework I use in all my business ventures for massive success. Order at KevinMentor.com and get over $1,000 in bonuses. Head to KevinMentor.com. Welcome to the podcast. This is your co-host, Seth Green. Today, I've got the good fortune to be interviewing Oscar Pedroso from Thimble.io live and on-demand robotics and coding classes for kids in grades four through 12. Timble teaches, kids st- Timble teaches kids stem cells through weekly one-hour classes taught by tech professionals. Oscar, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Seth. Great to be here. All right, let's go back in time. How did you get started? Well, um, I was actually a uh, teacher before I started Thimble. I uh, taught math in middle school and high school. Um, after college, I was a college admission officer. So I've, I've had many years of experience observing some of the challenges in the education space. And uh, when I met my co-founder, uh, we finally made a commitment to make tech education more accessible to kids, which is something that I really thought was a big challenge in the space, is that usually when you think of robotics and coding, usually all the you think of all like the smart and nerdy students, um, but it should be made something that's for every kid, you know, like we all take English and biology and chemistry and computer science, electronics and other subject areas should be introduced at a young age as well. Um, so, you know, that a lot of my experience led me to, to this idea and that's how we got started. Awesome. And then tell us a little bit about how you created Dimble. Well, uh, it was actually a series of failures first. <laughs> I started my first tech company back in 2011, which was called Gradfly. And what we were trying to do with that was um, to create online journals for engineering students to show off all of their projects and be able to use some of that work to leverage internships and jobs. Uh, but nobody was using it. So uh, we went back to the drawing table. We interviewed a couple hundred people that were using the platform at the time. And the main problem we kept hearing over and over again was that people wanted to build really cool stuff like robots and drones, but just didn't have a starting point for figuring that part out. And so Thimble really was a culmination of all of that customer discovery and validation. And we ended up launching on Kickstarter uh, back in 20, late 2015, early 2016. And we did about $300,000 or you know, a little over a month which was you know, the beginning. That was what really set us in motion at the time. Well, congratulations. Obviously, that's one heck of a start. Uh, talk a little bit about the way the program works now. Yes, yeah, so we have two programs, one for parents and one for schools. So the one for parents is uh, it's a monthly subscription service. So every three months, you get a new robotics kit. And then twice a week, you get live classes. Um, We also have on-demand classes, so if you can't make those live classes, you can watch a recording of it. Um, It's $60 a month, and every three months you're getting something a little more challenging. Um, And we have 16 kits in total, so if you stayed with us throughout the entire duration of the program, it's about four years. For schools, it's a little different, and we do more curriculum um, and classroom bundles for use in, like, day-to-day programs, after-school, community-based programs. We provide professional training for teachers. Um, and then we give also access to our software, which has all the lessons and stuff on our website. All right. So you obviously got off to an incredible start with Kickstarter. How has it evolved since then? Um, how are you getting the word out about Thimble? Well, one would imagine that, you know, like it was an uphill trajectory from there, but it really wasn't. Um, after a Kickstarter, it took us a year to deliver just because we weren't expecting the traction that we did. Um, so originally we said we would deliver on the campaign in four months. 
It took us 12 months to deliver on it. The good thing is we had kits ready to ship um, in Christmas, uh, during Christmas of 20, 26, 2017. <laughs> so um, that part was great. Uh, but then I think we went back and forth between business models. We were doing, we were selling to parents and we were selling to schools all at the same time. And both are very, very different business models um, and require different processes for those to work. Um, so, yeah, we did subscription, sold to schools. The pandemic happened. We stopped selling to schools, reverted back to our old subscription model. Um, so 2020 was really all about our, our direct to consumer channels and connecting with parents who were just looking for anything really to give their kids who were out of school. Fast forward to 2021, we're now exclusively working with schools. Um, about 10% of our model is now for homeschoolers, but um, purposely chose school route because that's where we feel we can make the most impact. So how many direct, how many consumer, how many parent subscribers do you have now? And then how many schools are you working with? Uh, so we're approaching 1500 families on the subscription side. And then for schools, uh, we've worked with about 300 schools in the past. This year, yeah, we had to start from scratch a little bit. Um, so I'd say right now we're at like about 30 schools. And what do you find, what is your biggest challenge now with all the success and traction you've gotten? Um, I think one is just making up our mind about what model we're going to pursue, which is why I've chosen to just work with schools. Um, I would say the, the ch challenge with selling to schools, it's a long sales cycle. You need more touch points. You need an actual internal sales and, and business development team to sort of nurture some of those leads. So um, I started doing that myself. I brought on two part-time people to help me make calls. Um, there's a lot around government funding to address learning loss and remote learning from the pandemic. So um, we're reaching out to schools that have received you know, over a billion dollars in funding basically. So using that as a way to <laughs> um, nurture some of those leads that are coming in the pipe now. But I'm doing about, I mean, this week I'm doing about 15 demos with schools and um, the tricky part is I have to follow up with all of those. So over time, you know, there's a the number of, of deals in the pipe compounds after a certain amount of time. So not having the bandwidth to, to pursue all of those is definitely challenging. So we're raising around to be able to hire some more people and then be a lot more aggressive about selling to schools. Absolutely. What is it? Uh, you mentioned the subscription price for direct to consumer of $60 a month. What does it cost you to make a kit? Um, it costs us about $20 to make a kit, give or take, not including shipping. Um, and that also doesn't include, you know, the creation of content and lessons for that kit. Um, but for like the hardware, the, like the raw materials to make that kit, about 20 bucks. Your passion is obvious. What do you like best about what you're doing? Uh, you know, like I, I, I wish I had dabbled in this a little bit more. I mean, I studied math and computer science, but I, I really went into college not knowing what engineering was. So for me, being able to educate a lot of these kids who are like in third, fourth, fifth grade about some of the skills out there that they have the potential of learning, um, partly is that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would say that's like the number one thing. Aside like having a startup and calling all the shots, which is nice. <laughs> I've done the nine to five thing too. And, you know, I just like to like to have my own path to, to figure out. How if would, you if you could start over knowing what you know now, what would you do differently? Um, I would have bought, been a little more careful about who I hired and who I brought on board. Um, not everybody you bring on has the same level of enthusiasm as you do, but you try to come. You try to find someone who comes close to that. Um, I would also tell myself to maybe just choose a business model and go with it, um, as opposed to jumping around back and forth. Sometimes you can't help it, really. Like we had no choice but to pivot last year. Um, but you know, looking back, we made it, we're now going into 2021 with that in our pocket, like, Hey, we survived the pandemic and, and, um, and now we're just ready to blow it out of the water with everything we've learned in the last five, six years. Who inspires you? Who do you follow? Who do you listen to? Who do you read? Uh, let's see. Um, I would say Eric Reese I've been following since this, you know, he's the author of the lean startup. That was one of the first books I read back in 2011 when I was contemplating going in, into the entrepreneurial world. Um, he's actually one of my advisors at the moment. So I've read a lot of what he does and work with him to just determine how to tackle each of these models we're pursuing right now. Um, 
other things I've read, Purple Cow, I mean, like anything marketing and, and business development. I'm reading a lot of sales books right now as far as like how to demo and close. And, you know, I don't have a formal sales background. I can sell, but as far as like having a, a legit process, um, you know, that's a work in progress at the moment. So it's always a work in progress, no matter how many times you iterate it. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, what, what advice would you give somebody looking to start a company in the education and technology space now? Well, the whole education space has been flipped on its head. So there's going to be a lot of changes. I think the best advice I can give someone is to talk to as many people as possible. Um, administrators, teachers, even students, because ultimately that's who a lot of these products are for. Um, eventually you start to recognize some patterns and a lot of those patterns um, give, you an in give you insight into what challenges those particular people have. And ultimately that's what you want to solve for and, and get people to pay you money for. So yeah, I would say like, I mean, I've, I've spoken to quite a few hundred people over the years, both parents and school administrators. So the more, the more and more you can collect information around that, the better off you're fine as like landing an actual problem that people really need help solving. What has been your, of all of your kits, what's been the most popular one? The tie, I would say, is our very first one, which most people have to start off with anyways. It's called the Creator Set. Um, but I love it just because it was designed to lower the barrier for all types of kids to participate in robotics and coding. Usually kids are intimidated by it. So if they think they can't do it, then they're most likely not going to pursue it. So this is like a kit that can help you build an intruder alarm, a doorbell, kitchen timer um, within like 15 minutes. So in less than 20 minutes, you're seeing some kind of success and either an LED lighting up or a buzzer going off. Um, doesn't sound too complicated, but you know that does wonders. Um, and then the other one is the LED cube. It's just a four by four LED cube that you solder together and then it's super, super shiny and flashy and you can program different designs on it and so forth. Uh, that's probably one of my favorites. What else do you want to share that I didn't think to ask you? Well, um, we are currently setting up to do a Republic or a fundraising campaign on Republic, which is a crowd equity yep. um, platform for raising money from accredited and non-accredited investors. So we're going to be raising uh, a million bucks on there, uh, launching in June. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, anyone who, I mean, you don't have to invest, but anyone who, who's willing to share it with their, with their network, friends and family, um, that would be awesome. So that's right. a, big, a big milestone for us this, this year. All right. Well, this has been Seth Green with Oscar Pedroso from Thimble.io. Make sure you go check out Thimble.io and then look for the crowdfunding equity campaign on Republic. Obviously, we're not making any investment claims or recommendations on this podcast, but Republic is a partner of ours. So make sure you check out the Thimble campaign over there. Uh, again, Seth Green with Oscar Pedroso. Oscar, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks a lot, Seth. Appreciate it. Thanks, everybody, for watching or listening. We'll see you next time. Do you need money to fund your idea, product, or service? Are you ready to take your business to the next level but need capital to get it done? Kevin Harrington has heard more than 50,000 pitches and knows how to help you make the perfect pitch to get the funding for your entrepreneurial dream. He's distilled the process down in his perfect pitch cheat sheet, and it's yours for free. Just text PITCH to him right now at 727-888-2100. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 right now and claim your free perfect pitch cheat sheet. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 to start funding your dream today. This show has been produced by Market Domination, LLC. To discover how you can have your own show completely done for you and turn it into a real published book and become the authority in your marketplace, go to www.marketdominationllc.com slash podcast offer.